सो हेलो एवरीबडी दिस इज़ द फोर्थ वीडियो ऑन फजी इन्फ्लेंस सिस्टम एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी डीलिंग विद द वॉशिंग मशीन केस दैट इज वॉट सॉर्ट ऑफ इनपुट्स वी विल बी गिविंग टू द वॉशिंग मशीन अबाउट द टाइप ऑफ क्लोथ्स द टाइप ऑफ डर्ट डिटर्जेंट मास ऑफ क्लोथ्स वाटर लेवल टेम्परेचर एंड द डर्टीनेस ऑफ द क्लोथ्स एंड वॉट विल बी द वॉशिंग टाइम दिस वॉशिंग मशीन इज गोइंग टू टेक इन ऑर्डर टू क्लीन द क्लोथ्स so first of all let me define quickly the input variables which will be there inside this so the type of clothes four type of input variable silk cotton woolen and jeans then the type of dirt greasy non greasy mix type of detergent solid liquid and uh, mass of clothes uh, 1 to 2 lips 3 to 5 lips 7 to 10 lips and uh, water level low medium high water temperature cold warm hot dirtiness of the clothes low medium and high and the total membership rules uh, which will be defining later uh, for now let uh, let's see the output the output is the washing time that is very short washing time short medium large or very large these are the inputs so how to start up with the matlab uh, let's quickly start this one uh, here we have to type f z z y uh, and then it will open the fuzzy inference system first of all we will be adding add variable since there were seven sort of inputs which we will be adding uh, let me take it uh, toward the right and then i'll show you seven sort of input type of clothes type of dirt so we will be adding add it add variable input variables and uh, then add all these seven variables here add seven input variables okay one two and so on uh, which will create the input variables then double click on this input variable to add the membership function which we want to add so three membership function are already there inside it we'll double click uh, move this to scale our uh, membership function from one place to another these values are called uh, are opened in the fis variable the input and the output variable variables are uh, commonly called as a fuzzy inference system variables uh, mf2 is a membership function we can change the name from here and uh, we can give the range of 0 to 10 from here or any range of from there now the type of variable which we want to when we select this uh, type of variables from here trapezoidal or any other gaussian or sigmoidal or any other function that function as function any function which we want to define we can define from here so i'll be closing it for now Uh, closing this one also because i have al already designed the fuzzy system and uh, i have already opened it uh, as a washing machine case uh, i'll be closing this one uh, i will not be saving and do you want to save changes no so this is my washing machine case uh, there were seven sorts of input which you, which were to be defined Uh, let me take here and the other thing which i have already done is the type of clothes and type of inputs so these are the seven sorts of input which are which are here uh, on the left hand side and uh, uh, type of clothes you might read it also so these are the four type of clothes silk cotton wool woolen and jeans in similar way i have designed others also greasy solid and liquid uh, type of detergents Uh, water level of the detergents now one more thing i have defined here is that i have scaled it in the range of 0 to 10 so 10 was added here right it was in the range of 0 to 1 and then i added 10 here and uh, it uh, scaled itself in the range of 0 to 10 that is for all most of the cases now the temperature cannot be 0 to 10 so we cannot call a temperature of 0 degree celsius is cold and what temperature of 10 degree celsius is hot so i've defined it in the range of 0 to 50 degree celsius so that i can call a temperature of 0 to 20 degree celsius as cold and uh, then uh, 5 to 45 degree as uh, warm and 30 to 40 degree as 50 degree as uh, hot now you will be uh, Uh, thinking about the fact that uh, how we can call this thing as 20 degree celsius as cold now the main thing is that they whenever there is a uh, temperature variable uh, there is always a gradual decrease in the temperature from cold to uh, warm side so it already has become warm at this point okay at this point it has already become warm 
now let's take a simple example that we cannot call 0 degree celsius as cold and 0 0.01 or 0 0.0001 or even 1 degree celsius as hot so this is the case i'll be discussing about it more in my another video for now you can uh, think uh, see that there is always a gradual decrease in the very uh, in the variable values not a constant decrease this is the main uh, this is what happens in actual real life so output variables there are five output variables very low membership very low time it will be taking to wash the clothes low medium high and very high which have scaled in the range of 0 to 30 minutes okay now the next thing which i'll be showing you is will be closing this because all of this has been made then this will be closed so the thing is you should always save these programs so that it can not create an error when you are running it okay now the next thing is we have to add the rules go to the edit and add rules okay so for rules there was one more thing which i have designed so here is a rule uh, which i have designed uh, type of clothes these are the uh, up to A to G there are uh, seven membership functions and each membership functions uh, uh, seven inputs sorry so there are seven inputs and each input has a different sort of membership function and uh, based on that we define rules so how much rule we are going to define that's that's actually the main uh, point here so the total number of membership function each input has is to be multiplied by the next total number of memberships of the other input so first has 4 for multiplied 4 then 3 then 3 then 2 and so on uh, and so for this case I got 1944 rules uh, because I was taking it as an example only so I don't have to design all the rules but I defined some rules first of all I defined only 16 rules for the for a preliminary test and uh, I found a simple error in my code that there this error was named as calloc uh, so this error comes when you don't have defined all the input parameters and uh, when uh, and you haven't defined all the input parameters uh, in the add add rule section and you are trying to run the program the thing is you should define all the rules before going into it so i had to define at most one nine ninety one um, at least ninety one uh, that is uh, rules to run my code that was how i made it run and uh, you can add the rule from here you can select one at a time add rule change uh, you can click on this or change this or change this add rule and if you want to change any rule you can click suppose I am at uh, rule number 87 at this point of time and I want to change it that I have uh, clicked uh, water level low as uh, wrong uh, water level low is not required in this room I want to change it to high so I will change rule and uh, this is all done now close it everything is done your rule base is ready now this was a, a simple version now we want to see all the rules which we have defined which we can see in the rule base only so here it is uh, these are the rules this red line is the marker which defines the uh, rule at that instance uh, at the first, very first instance it is in the middle so you can change it by double clicking on the red line moving it to other sides uh, either sides uh, and uh, these are the rules which you have defined from 1 to 7 columns and the final column is the washing time so this is uh, type of clothes type of dirt type of detergent and all the washing time is 15 minutes at the time okay now we'll be closing this for now and uh, we don't need it anymore uh, okay one more thing is that the fuzzy system which we are using is the centroid defuzzification method aggregation is maximum uh, implication is main mags and all uh, the membership function which I have used is the trim f membership function triangular membership function and uh, that's all okay now I will be closing this because I will be I will not be leading, needing it anymore I will be saving all the setup and uh, uh, okay overwrite yes and it's done okay now uh, the next thing which we have to do is run the code inside the MATLAB 
so when we are running the code inside the matlab we have to define everything inside it okay so read fis is the command which is used to read the washing machine case now uh, keep one thing in mind here do don't that you don't give a space between the name of the uh, mat, uh, fuzzy system which you have designed now because if you give the space then there will be an error in running that code second in now rest as the number of inputs that is a to g are the number of inputs first input the type of clothes type of dirt type of detergent type of clothes uh, mass of clothes what is the water level of the clothes what the temperature of the clothes level of dirtiness so i have defined it on a scale of 0 to 10 because we'll be not will not be dealing with the structural values we'll be dealing with the numerical values over here and uh, that's why i have defined uh, on a scale of 0 to 10 temperature in the scale of 0 to 50 rest everything is okay uh, water level is not uh, sorry mass of cloth is not in the range of 0 to 10 because it cannot be 0 lips it will be 1 lip if you have 1 cloth but it cannot be 0 lips now the command which is used to run this program is eval face and uh, I have used this A, B, C, D, E, F, G uh, all the input variables and the file which we are reading into a structure file and then we will be running it so when we run this file uh, it will ask for something that is the type of clothes which we will be using uh, on a scale of 0 to 2 two clothes so there are two clothes uh, two types of clothes uh, okay type of dirt is 2 level is 3 uh, detergent level scale is 4 uh, clothes mass of clothes is uh, 6 clips and uh, what the water level is medium so medium is in the range of 5 to 6 so let's give it a 6 uh, water temperature uh, let's give it uh, 29 degrees celsius and uh, what is the level of uh, dirtiness of clothes so let the clothes are dirty and it's 9 so the 7 type of membership functions have been defined and uh, just give a click and uh, it will give you the washing time that is 15 minutes so it will take 15 minutes for uh, washing the clothes uh, that was all about this washing machine case uh, it was requested by somebody so I made this video I was not uh, having that much time to make this video but uh, for now I'll be uh, taking a uh, goodbye from you uh, thanks all uh, for your patience for bearing with me and uh, do give the thumbs up if you like the video uh, uh, and uh, subscribe would be better thanks a lot